Hey guys, Dr. John Russin here, and I'm going over a technique for breathing called crocodile breathing. And it's one of the most effective ways to really reverse engineer what it is to breathe through the belly, as opposed to really using the secondary respiratory muscles that have you elevating the shoulders as you breathe dysfunctionally. So we have Lindsay here, and we're gonna be going over this technique that was originated by Gray Cook from the FMS, but it's really a nice technique to have a feel of what it is to use your belly. So Lindsay's gonna be here, laying down on her stomach passively. She's gonna have her fists together, and her fists are gonna be right at her forehead. This position is used just to relax everything at the upper body here in the shoulders and have the belly in direct contact with the floor here. So we just want everything nice and relaxed, head to toe. From this position, we want 360 degree expansion from the torso and from the core here. So as Lindsay breathes in, she's gonna be expanding into my hands here, expanding into the floor as well, and then expanding up through the lower back. That's 360 degrees. The rhythm on this is gonna be four to six seconds in on the inhale, two to four seconds hold at the top, and then we're gonna go four to six seconds out through the exhale with a slight pause at the bottom. Really the big focus here is again, expanding the belly into the floor, and you can see some relative motion happen here. If you do place either a yoga block or half of a foam roller on the lower back or on the back itself, and you can see those pieces rise up off. Stay here for about three to five minutes to start any training sessions, especially if you're super jacked up and sympathetic going into your training sessions.